Hey everyone, Hatphaser1 here, and today I'm bringing you a video talking about the Nightmare team that's been going around. Uh, the game changers that went to Sacramento uh, have uh, created this team uh, and called it Nightmare, the Nightmare team. And it's kind of Nightmare team because it's really hard to beat on defense uh, for uh, like a mirror match. And uh, it holds pretty well on defense. I'll talk about that more in detail. Um, it's okay on offense. I, I don't think this is the best team on offense. You kind of need Thrawn for offense. Like, I'm really missing Thrawn on this team. But if it holds defensively, I'm not dropping too low. I'm going to use it. <laughs> and then I'm going to be talking about if signs are worth it to get to 7 stars and year 12. So let's get started. I'm going to be talking about each team in detail on how to craft this team if you guys want to run it yourself. All right, so let's start with EP lead. Uh, you for Zetas, you definitely want to have leadership ability because the 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 effect that matters is when a debuff on an enemy expires, Empire and Sith allies gain 5% turn meter. So what what that means is when you inflict a bunch of debuffs, if they you know shake it off, you get all that turn meter and you get to go again. And uh, so you want to have all these teams that apply so much, so many debuffs, and have, like a lot of the enemy teams and tunes that you want to get all that turn meter and that's how you stay you know on top of the arena leaderboards and potentially you know not, not even move or shift um, one time i didn't even move from top 10 this is how good this team is apparently on defense uh for the for this unique you don't really need it it's for like more of like defensive purposes you know for uh, keeping Emperor Palatine alive but you really don't need it uh, if you want to like have an asap ep team uh, in terms of mods, you know, secondaries, or yes, yeah, speeds was set, secondary speeds, and a potency set uh, to get more potency for that stuns. Uh, speeds, I have 234. You wanna, if you have like slower speeds, I would not suggest running EP at all because you do need god mod, you need to put uh, your fastest mod sets in Vader. And if your Vader's the fastest on the shard, you pretty much have an advantage over everyone. Unless they use Zolo, which is the cheap way <laughs> out. <laughs> Talking to you, shard mates. <laughs> anyway, um, so mine's 234. It's really good speed. I mean, it's really high speed. But if you have like over 200 um, and you have to sacrifice putting speed a lot of speed on Vader, that's totally fine. He doesn't need to be that fast. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for EP. Nothing too special for EP. Um, Vader. Vader is like the next important tune. You want to have him the fastest. I'm going to talk about the speeds first. Uh, I have him 247. This is like the fastest speed set I could get um, on him. And I have an offense transmitter because it has 21 speed, which gives him, you know, more speed added on. That's why I have that offense set. Um, basically, just you want to have him fast, really fast. Uh, if your Vader goes first, you get to apply debuffs first, and you get get you get to have that chain of um, debuffs and you can potentially not lose on offense and on defense uh in terms of his unique you don't need it if you want to have an asap team for ep um but it does help defensively though so if you guys want to go all in i would definitely recommend doing uh, vader and plus uh his ship it benefits his ship you increase power and speed on it for his uh, ship uh, also so i mean leadership's not needed because you don't even need his lead um that's pretty much it for Vader. You want to have him the fastest as possible. Okay, now let's go on to uh, Scion. Scion, basically, you you can use him at three stars. Other YouTubers have done videos as Scion usable at three stars. Definitely, his torment is going to be the same at any star level. So, for those of you free to play that don't want to spend money to get him seven stars, go ahead and use him. He's usable. Um, he just won't have like that punch, you know, the you know maxed out uh, stats that you know you usually want. But they, they, he's still usable. You, you usually just want him for the taunt and the torment. Um, dispels everything, which is awesome. He's like IPD, but like he's a tank also. He's a disruptive tank. Uh, you definitely want to run another tank with him because he's in taunt all the time. So you want to protect Scion. Um, it's cool thing is with his. Uh, with his uh, ability to work with Nihilus and Treya, but I'm not using Treya since we don't have it unlocked yet, but very soon. I'm hoping Team Instinct is going to be the first one to unlock Tre uh, Treya, so we're going to be able to get some gameplays on that. But uh, the, the uh, interaction is when a, and when allied Darth Treya or Darth Nihilus are critically hit, reduce held by hatreds, cooldown by one, which is really, really important because held by hatreds is really good. Uh, he dispels on depots on himself, recovers on himself health, 100 fun turn meter and stuff like that um and he be, when he dies he revives himself like an, a zombie which is really awesome um 
Yeah, so in terms of speed, we've got really, you want to have him really fast also. You want to have him go before uh, Emperor Palpatine. Uh, I do have critical damage set. I have, that's my fastest critical damage set, which is pretty cool. And also you want to uh, maybe have an offense set instead if you guys have that. But yeah, you want to have either critical damage or offense set for sign, and that's pretty much it. And I do have the Zeta. In the gameplays, you will see I don't have the Zeta, so it's, I'm not gonna get that ability for the Zeta. But I, you know, for the beginning intro, I recorded after I did the gameplay, so yeah, I do have the Zeta. You do, you do want to have that Zeta if you want to run in this team because you inflict more debuffs, and you inflict more pain, and yeah, it's really good. Next is Nihilus. Nihilus, you want to have. Nihilus go with the fastest Nihilus in your short if possible. My Nihilus goes at 233, which is really fast for a Nihilus. Um, and I have speed sets and a potency set just to you know make sure you you know increase cooldowns with Drain Force because that's really important. The Nihilus basically makes the team. Um, now this is overall good. You do need is unique. I definitely, definitely is unique. It's required, honestly. Um, and the interaction with uh, Nihilus is when allied Darth Sign or Darth Treya are inflicted with a debuff, Nihilus gains 10% uh, turn meter and 30% max health stacking until the end of the encounter. This is like uh, uh, Nice Sister Daka. It's he's really good. I mean, uh, on defense, it's gonna be really hard to you know. Uh, fight the team because you need to avoid debuffing Scion and because you're gonna give Termina to Nihilus stuff like that It's really hard um, To from what I'm hearing, but Jedi Rays are actually the only team that can steamroll Emperor Palpatine leads and I uh, have a problem which is kind of which kind of sucks, but mirror matches you, you're pretty much set um and then Sith Trooper this is the tune you don't really want to have any speed sets on all you want to have a uh, tanky secondaries like health and protection tenacity potency you don't really need potency but like I have, for a secondary stat i have five percent protection it's pretty good for a um secondary and then i have like health tenacity uh so as you guys see i have a full health set you want to increase health uh you know uh, protection on the data bus protection on the cross, protection on the uh, triangle, and protection on the arrow. So, <laughs> so yeah, basically, and you guys can see my stats. I only have plus nine speed and health. I have 40,000 health. You want to have the tankiest because against Jedi rate, you, he's going to die a lot. Um, so you want to have him as tanky as possible. It really helps in 80,000 protection. That's really good for a set trooper. So that's pretty much it for modding. Uh, just remember that Sai needs to go before Emperor Palpatine, so he makes you so he gets his stuns off uh, while everyone's debuffed. Uh, hopefully, and yeah, that's pretty much it how the team works. So let's get into some gameplay. All right, so in this gameplay, I am playing against a mirror match. As you guys can see, his Vader went first because his speeds are all faster than mine. But he, luckily, he didn't manage to land debuffs on my Sith Trooper, and he did schooling blade, and he didn't get any turn meter. But that's usually not the case. With what's gonna happen? I just got really super lucky, and I was recording at the time, and the stolen recording I had. But usually, it's, that's not gonna happen. But uh, when they do, when they inflict debuffs on Scion. Now this is going to get a turn meter and he's going to be able to apply draining force right away on the enemy team. And you want to have that potency set, at least one potency set, um, to make sure you get cooldown of some kind. At least one. Uh, sometimes I get lots of cooldowns when they don't even have debuffs, which is awesome. Because under EP League, they get like 35% more uh, potency, so that's great. So after that, you want to uh, dispel everything with Scion. Um, and then stun everyone with uh, Palps uh, AOE and just keep going there. And when then with Vader's uh, cool, uh, basic, you want to ability block all the prob problem, sorry, problematic uh, tunes. And that's pretty much it. And then uh, if you get lucky, you get you could activate Science uh, Hate by Hatred. I think that's what it's called. Held by Hatred, yeah. Held by Hatred, and he does. Uh, Let's see what he does. I actually forgot what he does. So he recovers 100% health, gains 100% turn meter, and uh, gets 25 critical chance, 100% defense, and 100% offense. Which uh, yeah, so he's gonna be hitting like a monster, and, and he acts like a you know nice sister zombie basically. Um, so this match is pretty much over. It was really easy. So that's how you perform a team. It's really like you know taking out piece by piece, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this team. Let's move on to the next team. 
All right, here we're facing a free-to-play Rex team that always climbs in our shard. Um, so, I mean, it, like some people have trouble facing Rex uh, teams, but he throws his tenacity up. But it's really, with Cyan, is great. He's just going to dispel all that in a minute. Um, so I don't use Palps AoE because it's not even going to stun anyone because everyone has tenacity up at the time. So I just skip over that for now. Um, and yeah, that's it. This, this match is pretty over after pretty much after tenacity up is gone. Uh, CLS hits like a... Uh, it hits really hard. The CLS is probably, probably the only problem in this team. But that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, after you get rid of tenacity, you know, you just pick apart... Uh, every tune you want to get rid of analysis and cls asap and thrawn thrawn's problematic tune um so what what because what is coming down to this team you need really cyan for this team to work because there's synergy between nihilus and cyan and now i'm going to talk about a cyan worth spending money on so um if you already have a, an arena team that works well i would definitely not spend money on cyan cyan is just like a luxury to have at the moment um and uh, yes, yeah, so, and IPD. I did a video on the, like my last video. IPD basically is kind of the, it does it's the same thing. He just spells everything. If you if you have IPD, I'd recommend dating IPD and using him instead. Use that team that I used in the last video. It works great. Doesn't hold as well on defense, but it actually it's actually really solid on offense. You want to have a good offense climb. That team is really great. I would recommend you guys checking that out. Uh, but for anyone else that is. Um, you know, have extra disposable money, sure, I'd, I'd recommend doing uh, Scion uh, and using this team is really good. So now we're facing against uh, Jedi Train Ray, which is arguably the hardest matchup. And, and uh, Ray teams on offense destroy any Palp team really easily. Um, as you guys see, I'm having a really hard time, and I usually lose my Sith Trooper too, so I got some stuns here, got some draining force. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I mean, you know, the same thing here. You want to keep a Kenobi or GK um, with ability block with Vader, so he doesn't uh, use uh, the his second uh, cleanse move and give everyone retribution. Though that would equal equate to more turn meter for you, but you don't want to have that. You want to keep them at bay. Um, and yeah, you just want to get to annihilate really fast, and you know keep an, uh, keep draining forcing them, and uh, get to annihilate and annihilate either Ray or B8. Um, so let's wrap this up. Um, this team worked really well. Uh, sign is fine, worth it. Yes and no. For us whales out there, yes, go ahead buy him. He's really good. You're gonna enjoy him. Uh, but for all you, the rest of you guys, free to play and those that barely even spend on the game or not at all, uh, do not spend on him. It's really expensive and uh, it's, he's going to be free to play farmable very soon in a few months, I'm, I'm, I, I suspect. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this, uh, you know, this guy helped you out with the Nightmare Team and if signs worth it. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.